Humans are distinct from other animals in many ways. Cognitive capacity, hairlessness, and our opposable thumb. But having nails is not one of them. Our ancestors, primates, also have finger and toenails that look very much like ours. Mammals, birds, and reptiles have similar features at the ends of their appendages, such as claws and talons. These limb accessories are made of a protein called keratin, the same protein that makes up your hair, the horns on cows and sheep, and the hooves of horses, zebras, bulls, and other ungulates. These keratin extensions evolved sometime between 400 million and 300 million years ago. The uncertainty is because fossils between those years are quite rare. The transition from water tetrapods to land tetrapods is fuzzy for this reason, which makes the evolutionary origins of claws, talons, and our own nails a bit fuzzy too. However claws emerged, they proved extremely handy. They allowed creatures to grasp better, penetrate the bark and branches of trees, clutch at food, and dig. The claws, along with the structure of the limbs, gave terrestrial animals an advantage to climbing trees and diversifying into many other niches. Our own human nails evolved from claws. Similarly, ancient primates that lived approximately 50 million years ago also had claws, new research has found. These grooming claws were used to get rid of parasites that live in the hair and skin, hence the name. Those early grooming claws transitioned to nails for several reasons. One reason was to get a better grip on branches, especially smaller and thinner ones. Animals like apes, monkeys, lemurs, and others spend a good part of their day climbing trees, hanging from branches, and grabbing things. To do that, they need broad fingertips so that their grip stays strong. Fingernails primarily cover the top surface of their fingers and offer some protection for their precious digits. These nails can also help the animals scratch and dig for things. Nails also enhance sensitivity by providing an extra surface that could discern changes in pressure, even more granularly, which made it easier for primates to climb and hop among the trees. These nails also allowed early Homo sapiens to begin wielding tools around 2.5 million years ago. In response to this tool use, our hands developed fingernails that are even broader than their predecessors. Striking stone tools together requires a very firm, strong grip, something that only broad fingertips can provide. The fingernail increases the sensitivity of the finger by acting as a counterforce when the pulp of the finger touches an object. The hard outer covering of fingernails makes our grip around an object much more firm and precise, which is why we can easily pick up even tiny things. Fingernails allow us to peel fruits, like bananas, oranges, and lemons with ease, and aid certain cutting or scraping actions. The tops of our toes are also susceptible to injuries. The nail layer on the toe serves as a protective cap for the toe to prevent injuries and infections. The hard covering of toenails protects and fortifies the dense network of blood vessels, muscles, and flesh beneath them. Toenails also exert counterpressure on our toes that help us with balance while walking and improves our spatial awareness. <laughs>